the collaboration came about, I guess, um, in large part thanks to Karis Matthews on BBC Six Music, who oh, yeah. I listened to religiously on a Sunday morning. And there I was, uh, probably making soup or something, uh, <laughs> late last year, late 2015, and uh, Catherine Williams came on the radio. I think we worked out early on that, um, that in order for me to be in the moment uh, for each song and uh, what's going on there and then without, without hindsight or um, adding to, you know, I wanted to be in the moment with, with the character. So I said that I didn't want to read the book, but what I did want was around each song is sort of where Cass was in her life then, what was, what was going on, what was the seed of the song, you know, what decade it was, what she was listening to at the time, what sort of feel it was, what kind of sometimes what time of the day she'd written it. Mm. Um, because that's kind of what I needed in order to start piecing the song together. And if I had if I had the whole book in me, I just don't think it would have the sort of integrity of these moments where she is writing. But I do really want to read the book. It was something I sort of had to grapple with. It was sort of chicken and egg question, um, you know, when to write the lyrics, when to sort of concentrate on that. And I knew before I started writing how the book would be structured. I knew that it would be combining a sort of present tense narrative in which the character um, is it's set over one day in which the character is in her home studio choosing tracks for this great greatest hits record. Uh, and I, I knew that that would be interspersed with, I didn't at, the stage, at that stage know it would definitely be 16, but a number of chapters, each of which would be based around a song. Um, and I decided before writing each of those chapters and each of those songs on more or less what the themes would be because I needed those songs to also track her consecutively through her life. So although the songs aren't written in consecutive order exactly, the uh, experiences or themes or emotions that govern them um, are consecutive. So we sort of follow her from a young, well, from birth to a 65-year-old woman. So um, mostly I, I decided on that theme, that event, that experience, and then I wrote the chapter, and then I went back and wrote a lyric that fitted with something that had happened in that chapter or... So I guess in a way that was almost more organic and closer to the way that a songwriter might actually work in the sense that she sort of needed to have the experience before I could decide how she would refract yeah. that in song. Um, and then it was a case of refining them as I went along and also being aware you know, they, that they were and are sort of holding lyrics that would then be refined in conjunction with Kath. So, when, you know, when we were saying that you... I didn't mind you chopping them and cutting them around and not in any way. I was only too happy to sort of put them into the hands of someone who, who knows how it is to express yourself in song, which is a related but quite different technique than, yeah. than novel writing. Um, so, yeah, it was a case of sort of moving along. They came hand in hand um, and most of them came without a tune attached, um, understandably, because I'm not a songwriter. But, um, one of them, When Morning Comes, had yeah. a melody attached and yeah. I spent ages being convinced that it was probably like by Paul Simon or something and I'd accidentally the, ripped the, it off. The chorus. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, that was great and immediately came to life that. Yeah, and you've used mind. part of that. Yeah. That's work that's, you know, in among a much stronger and better song, like you've, that's kind of stayed, so that's great. Yeah, it's a great song. That's I didn't a good have to song, do though. a lot to that one. It was really good. <laughs> I have spent so many nights, love, restless and alone, sleepless in a cold bed, weary
Listen, listen, listen to the song.